Trisomy 21, Down Syndrome. Genetics. Trisomy 21, Down Syndrome is the most common chromosome abnormality among live births, one in 730 live births, and the most frequent form of intellectual disability caused by a microscopically demonstrable chromosomal aberration. A gamete can acquire an extra chromosome 21 by meiotic non-disjunction, 95% of cases, Robertsonian translocation, 4% of cases, mosaicism, 1% of cases. The risk of non-disjunction increases with advanced maternal age from 1 in 1,500 in women younger than 20 years to 1 in 25 in women older than 45 years. Most individuals with Down syndrome have free trisomy 21, 47, plus 21. In patients with Down syndrome, a quad screen shows low alpha fetoprotein, low unconjugated estriol, high human chorionic gonadotropin, high inhibin A. Additionally, knuckle lucency is observed on ultrasound. Clinical manifestations. Physical findings of Down syndrome are unique and identifiable. Facial abnormalities include prominent epicanthal folds, oblique eye fissures, flat nasal bridge and mid-face, decreased muscle tone, hypotonia, wider space between first and second toe, sandal gap, nystagmus, brachycephaly, end curving of the fifth finger, narrow palate, overfolded helix of the ear, especially with a small ear, short appearing neck with redundant skin on the back of the neck, broad and short hands and feet. A single palmar fold, simian crease, in the hands of an infant is indicative of Down syndrome. Brush field spots, which are white or dark colored spots seen on anterior surface of the iris, are indicative of Down syndrome. The following congenital cardiac defects are most frequent in patients with Down syndrome. Complete atrioventricular septal defect, most common, a form of endocardial cushion defect. Ventricular septal defect. Atrial septal defect. Patients with Down syndrome are at risk for developing gastrointestinal defects. Most importantly, duodenal atresia is associated with Down syndrome. Lower gastrointestinal tract abnormalities that patients with Down syndrome are at risk for developing are Hirschsprung disease and imperforate anus. Notably, these both present as failure to pass meconium in a newborn. Patients with Down syndrome are at risk for developing early onset Alzheimer's disease, often beginning in their 40s. Patients with Down syndrome are at an increased risk of developing acute leukemias, in particular, first four years of life. Acute megakaryoblastic leukemia, AML M7. Older children, B cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Patients with Down syndrome exhibit cellular immunity defects. This predisposes them both to infections as well as autoimmune disorders. Diagnosis Prenatal Trisomy 21 may be diagnosed through direct analysis of fetal chromosomes by karyotype or DNA microarray, obtained from amniocentesis, chorionic villus sampling, or percutaneous umbilical blood sampling. Use standard operating procedures to decide whether to accept prenatal diagnoses without postnatal confirmation, for example, in cases of termination or pregnancy, or unexamined fetal death. Postnatal Trisomy 21 can be strongly suspected or diagnosed clinically during the neonatal period by recognizing the typical physical traits. Clinical diagnosis should be confirmed by genetic testing, typically karyotype from infant's blood or tissue. Image-based discussion. Here's an image showing characteristic facial features of Down syndrome depicted in a term, image A, and preterm, image B, infant, including epicanthal folds, slanted palpable fissures, flat nasal bridge, and protruding tongue. Here's an image of trisomy 21 with high drops. Mid-sagittal view of the fetal profile at 20 weeks in a fetus with trisomy 21 showing extensive skin thickening along the forehead. 
this fetus was the presenting twin of a dichorionic, diamniotic twin pair with a euploid non-presenting twin. Image B. Axial scan through the fetal head showing the extreme skin thickening, bars, circumferentially around the cranium. Image C. View through the fetal face showing the orbits and the extreme skin thickening around the lateral aspect of the fetal face. Image D. Axial scan through the fetal chest showing extreme skin thickening and pleural effusions dividing membrane. This fetus also has ascites. Here's an image of a transverse and longitudinal view of the fetal kidneys demonstrating unilateral urinary tract dilation at 20 weeks in a fetus with trisomy 21. In the transverse view, caliper 2 shows a measurement of 4.1 millimeters. Note that the measurement is made in the widest part of the intrarenal pelvis with the spine at 12 o'clock to optimize image resolution. Here's an image showing a sandal gap toe and Down syndrome. Here's an image showing a transverse palmar crease. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.